I'm talking about the Graft Foundation. I've been joined by Dr. Bernard Anani. He's the project director for this foundation. He's going to tell us exactly what they're up to. Good morning. Good morning. So, Dr. Anani, let's start off with Graft Foundation. What exactly does Graft stand for? Um, Graft stands for Ghana Reconstruction of Anomaly and Trauma Fund. Okay. Yes. And what do you, you know, exist to do? Okay, so we basically um, uh, a plastic surgery biased foundation. Right. Um, um, in the year 2013, um, there were only eight plastic surgeons in the whole of the country. Right. Now, when you take the whole of the West, West African countries, there are only four countries now hmm. who have the expertise to do plastic surgery. Okay. So you're talking about Ghana, La Côte d'Ivoire, Nigeria, and then Senegal. Right. What it means is that all the other neighboring countries have to go to these countries mm. to assess plastic surgeons. Right. And in Ghana here, there were only eight of such surgeons. Okay. And so Dr. Kwame Abrokwa Yantra, who, is the, who used to be the former head um, of plastic surgery and burns at 37 Military Hospital, decided to form the Graft Foundation mm. so that we could go out to the rural areas okay. in the country and then also in other West African countries okay. to bring relief and hope right. to people who cannot assess the services of these plastic surgeons. Mm. And so since 2013, that's what Graft Foundation has been doing, traveling mm. around West Africa, providing free surgeries mm. for needy people. And if you can see on your screens there, those are some pictures of some of the people who have been helped through the Graft Foundation. But let's talk about the HOPE projects. What exactly is it when we say the HOPE projects? What do you do when you have, you know, the HOPE project? Particularly, there's one coming up in Volta, and so we'll touch on that as well. Okay. So, basically, the HOPE project is bringing hope okay. to the hopeless. Mm. And the HOPE project is for Ghana. Right. We have the whole project in Ghana and then the ECOWAS Compassion Project for other West African countries. Okay. And with the whole project, as of now, we've been able to operate on over a thousand people yes. between 2013 and now. And we've been to all former 10 <laughs> regions I was just Ghana. waiting for you yes. to land and say, I hope you realize the 16 now. Oh, yes. So all former 10 regions okay. of Ghana. And, um, and this year, hmm. we're going to the voter and OT regions. Okay. And we've already done screening, hmm. and we've selected about 510 patients okay. who are going to be changed, whose lives are going to be changed within a period of seven days. Right. Yes. And so we are working at the whole teaching hospital okay. um, between this very Saturday mm. to next week Saturday, okay. and we are looking at providing these free surgeries for these people. Well, being a doctor myself, I understand what goes into plastic surgery and the cost. And even for many people, the reason why they probably wouldn't see a plastic surgeon in their whole life is because it's expensive. So how do you come about your funding and how to support these people? Because from what I understand, it's entirely free. So how do you mobilize the fans to make sure this becomes a reality for Funding them? Funding over the years has always been a problem. Mm. It's, it's always a problem, unfortunately. Um, but then we have our partners, okay. we have friends, families, mm. um, and some people out there right. who drop a little here and there. So uh, we write basically to corporations, okay. companies, and um, almost everyone who is interested in doing charity. Right. And then we get them to do support us. Okay. Now, you, things which goes into our work includes mm. accommodation, mm -hmm feeding, transportation, apart from the drugs and consumables. Right. And so we try to partner with the hotels, the local okay. people, to also see what exactly they can, they can do. Provide. Yes, even if they can give us discounts and other things. Now, okay. Even as I talked to mm. you this morning, we're struggling to get a bus to bus our people from Accra oh. to the voter region because we're disappointed by those who are in charge to give us a bath. And so, yes, uh, it's always a challenge. Mm. But then if you say you're not going to do this, right. who else would do it? Right. I would want to state that we are the only charity in the whole of West Africa that does what we do. Right. And so if we do not do this, then we do not know who exactly will do this. And so even though the fans are not there, even though the support is not coming, we still push ourselves to try and then do this.
Great. So I want you to tell me about your selection process because I'm sure after Volta and OT regions, you'd want to you know, spread your tentacles elsewhere. So I want us to educate people on how to reach you in the first place and also how your selection process goes so that when they hear you're coming into the neighborhood, they can be prepared. Okay. Um, so to reach us is very, very simple. Now with the advent of social media, when you go on um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we are there okay. at Graft Foundation. Okay. You can also go on our web um, on our website www.graftfoundation.org, okay. um, and then we are very very we respond quickly, okay. and then we'll we'll get in touch with you. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, you can go to every Ghana Health Service facility in the whole country. Okay. We do this in partnership with the Ghana Health right. Service. And so even if you can't get us directly and mm. you go there, they will be able link to you yes. Up. Now our work once you uh, once your anomaly falls under something that needs plastic surgery, you qualify. So can you mention a few of those? Yes, so we have um sure things well. like um uh, cleft um we have things like cleft lip okay. and palate. Um so, and we have things like keloids. Right. So people who have keloids, we have um, bangs. So if, especially domestic accidents, okay. we have bangs. We have um, um, people who are born with more than six, of more than five toes. Mm -hmm. There are some of the images which are a little bit sensitive, mm -hmm. so then we can't really show them but then, so things like these, mm. um, and everything that was so from lamps, people who have six fingers, okay. people whose hands or toes are joined together, right. um, people, even men, mm. you know, under normal circumstance, when a man is born, or if a baby boy is born, he's supposed to unite at the tip of the okay. penis. Right. But unfortunately, sometimes there is a problem and so there is a hole another hole under the shaft of the penis mm. which is called hypospadia right. we do all that okay. for little girls who have um, um the vagina is closed right. we try to Dilate. yes open so then everything that falls under plastic surgery we we take up and everything is free everything is free everything so is free. how do you try to make use of the national health insurance yes um because we work in because we don't have a base hospital and we have to go to those we advise our okay. patients to come along okay. with the health insurance right. so that the hospital gets to at least benefit because using their electricity right. using their space and all that so all yes right. we try as much as possible to use the health insurance too very well so through the screening process what are you looking out for when these patients let's say i mean people who want to contact you have contacted you how do i know that i've been picked and i'm going to you know have a surgery from graft foundation once you come for a screening hmm. whether you're picked or you're not picked you're called okay now once you qualify for surgery what we do is um we have just some few days on site to do the work right but after that we give you the option to come to um now we are at um there's a question memorial hospital okay, Mampong. Mampong. so when you come there okay. we'll be able to take care of you that's outside the project right. but for the main project once you come for screening we call you whether you are selected or not okay. so for this very um project that we're doing we saw over 300 people and out of these 300, we are just doing a little over 100. Right. And so all the others are people that we are interested in mm. seeing. There are some of these other cases too, which could just be done by the local surgeons there. Okay. So in partnership with the hospital, right. we give their names to them and try to have um, okay. some form of negotiation with okay. them so that because a lot of the patients do not go to the hospital, not because they don't want to, mm -hmm. but they can't pay. Right. So we try as much as possible to talk to the hospital okay. to see what we can do. Right. And Yes, of support. Yes, That's very great. So over the years, you've been doing this since 2013. What has been the experience? And for you, Graph Foundation, are you happy with your results? And do you look at doing this for many more years to come? It's so someone asks us, <laughs> why do you still do this? Mm. You know, especially when the support and everything you need is mm -hmm. not coming. Mm. And I always say that there is no greater feeling than seeing the smile of a mother, of a right. baby, of a patient. Mm. Trust me, there is no greater feeling. And so we're encouraged to yeah. do more. And as I said, if you don't do it, who else will right. do it? 
it's it falls on it falls on us now this year mm -hmm. we're going to be launching the 5000 smiles project and so we're looking within a space of 5 years doing 5000 surgeries okay. yes and it means that there's a lot of um, work to be done mm -hmm. and so we'll be calling on we're calling on the general public on everyone right. to come on board let's let's change lives let's do something meaningful for our brothers and sisters who cannot afford, afford it. Yes. We certainly have to. But also tell us about the team, the medical team that, you know, does this. Okay. So I, 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 I'm proud to say we have mm. the best of the best when it comes to um, our field in the country. Mm. So the lead surgeon is Dr. Kwame Abolokwa okay. um, and then Others, we have uh, Dr. Hennebo Usudan, so, mm -hmm. who is now the current um, CEO of Konfanochi Teaching mm -hmm. Hospital. We have Dr. Commander mm -hmm. Kwesin Safo, yeah. who is now the head of plastics at 37 okay. Military Hospital. Mm -hmm. And we have um, Dr. Pa Eko Hoyt Williams, mm -hmm. who is at Konfanochi. Mm -hmm. And then we have so many experienced anesthetists, nurses, okay. And day in and day out, mm. so our volunteer base is so huge that day in and day okay. out, new people are coming nice. in. And so when it comes to our team, we have a, we, a very solid An team. Awesome support. Yeah. Great. So finally, let me give you that opportunity to reach out to, you know, corporate bodies and also individuals to support. So how do we support? Is it mobile money? Obviously now, yes. even churches are doing mobile money, so I'm sure you've got a mobile money number. You can yes. put that out so yes. that we can all throw in a coin or two. Okay, so um, to support, um, we have um, a GCB account, which is GCB Accra High Street, but okay. sorry, Osu Branch, okay. 114-113-000-9080. I'll, I'll take it again. 114-113-000-9080. Okay. Or for those who want to support and they think they have something little and they can't go to the bank you can drop it um through mtn mobile money number right. zero two four two six five three four four nine okay. zero two four two six five three four four nine now we're just not asking for money mm. we're asking for drugs okay we're asking for consumables. Mm. Anything at all that you can support us with. Right. And even if you have time, mm. sometimes we want volunteers, people just to come and spend time with the patient. Okay. There are some of these people who have been rejected by their neighbors, their mm -hmm. families for a very long time. Right. They just need someone to come and tell them mm. it as well. And so yes, our, our doors are open to okay. all forms of volunteer and support. Great. Well, I would like to say a very big thank you and of course congratulations to you, Graf Foundation, for what you do. You certainly are the best in your field and we hope that you get all the support you need to make sure that the 5,000 smiles really becomes a reality. But I guess for that, you'll be looking at just the clefts. No, not just cleft. Um, okay. So everything, so everything plastic, yes. with the anomalies, the yes, same group of people. Yes, okay. the same group. But then Great. this time, um, there's a target. Okay. And so it means that there is a lot you more work to, yes, to be done. Anyway, let me say thank you to you, Dr. Brainerd Anani. He's Projects Director for the Graft Foundation. And Graft is an acronym for Ghana Reconstruction of Anomaly and Trauma Fund. And they have been doing very well for the past six years doing surgeries for free and this year they're going to Volta region and I think it starts from 1st to 8th June they've already chosen about 100 people to do free surgeries for but certainly put your ears to the ground for them because they just might be coming to your region to help out if you know someone who needs help make sure you contact them on their number their website and also let's make sure we're all dropping something into their bank to make sure that they can make this a reality and put a smile on the face of a fellow Ghanaian